what shall we talk about now well <laughs> we're not talking about mackerel and this is not a grace ad but we're going to be talking about circles and could you imagine a car with wheels that were of the shape of let's say triangles imagine if the wheels on a car were triangles it would be a little difficult moving and circles are very important in our today's life because look one thing it's a good container because it helps things to fit perfectly in our hands just like this tin of mackerel again no grease promotions around here but it's a good it's a good it's a good you know quality of products all right great so circles are important because we can it helps us to grasp things a little better containers you know we we'll always keep pills and things like that in them and i don't know if you knew but this object maybe you're a little bit too young to know what this is but it's a cd right that we used to store music on back in the days before you had like mp3s and all of those wonderful new stuff and circles are also important in jewelry making look at that i think that is a bracelet thingy yeah that's a bracelet thing and we also have what you call them something we put in your ears again that's the shape of a circle my ladies would know or oh, hoops you have those hoops thing and here and guys these are not mine i just barred them to show you you know show you the importance of circles so i forgot to return them when i'm done great and then i like this one it's a cork you know it helps cover things like bottles and so forth and you ever wonder how wheels were invented well maybe it helps person to transport like they used logs before we use wheels and it helped us to transport heavy objects from one place to another so circles are important and that's what we're going to be looking at and how could i forget Circles are important in sports, as in like, look, football, the shape of a ball is a circle. And then when you're playing basketball or netball, you have to shoot the, the ball in the hoop. That's awesome. So circles are pretty, 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 pretty important. So I'm going to use this cover and draw a circle. And notice I'm going right around, right around, right around. So the outer bound of a circle, why? I'm just pretend say it, it gets right. So the outer bound of the circle <laughs> is what we call the circumference. This is a circumference. 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 Great. So the distance around the circle, that is the circumference. And the center point of the circle, that little point in the circle, the center, center, center point, that is what we call the center of the circle. Center. Good. So, so far we know the center of the circle and we know the circumference, which is the distance of the around the circle. Or the perimeter of the circle so there are some other important things that we'd want to know or features about the circle and this is it I'm gonna show you a few of them so from the center of the circle to a single point on the circumference if I do that that line is what we call the radius radius so any line running from the center of the circle to touch one single point on the circumference, that is the radius. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a radius on top of another radius heading in the same direction. Like so. Notice that this is a straight line that passes right through the center of the circle. Right? <laughs> to touch either points on the circumference this line is what we call the diameter diameter 
great. And notice that the circle is divided into two equal parts. So the diameter cuts the circle in two halves. And notice that the diameter, to get one diameter, it's pretty much two radius or radii put together. See that? So this radius plus this radius give me one diameter. Good. Let's look at some other features of a circle. Our other parts. I could take a line and do this. If I do this, it would want to look like the diameter, but it not pass through the center. So if it don't pass through the center, but it won't look like a diameter, then we call it a chord. C H O R D, a chord. So it's a line that runs from one point of the circumference to another point on the circumference of a circle. See that? And if you check it out, the diameter is also a chord, but a chord is not the diameter. Remember, the diameter of a pass through the center of the circle. Great. So let's just look at this other part out here. So and I'm going to put it in gold. This part of the circle. Notice that it runs along the circumference. Right. So a part of the circumference, or in a fraction of the circumference, or a piece of the circumference like this, we'll call it a, no, an arc. A-R-C. An arc. I look a curve, you know, another full thing, but at a curve. So that is the arc. Any fraction or any part of the circumference. And look at this. This is an arc right here, so. This is also another arc right here, so. So another piece of arc here, so. And if you carry it right round, that's another piece of arc. So any part of the circumference is what we call an arc. And if you look at it, this little gold piece is a small arc compared to the rest of the circle. So this is what we will call the minor arc. And the rest of it would have, what, what, would have been what we would have called the major arc. Zooming. Cool. So I'm going to look at some more features. And they get more pretty more interesting. What if I shaded this region right here. Between the arc and the chord. If I shaded this region. It kind of looked like a slice of patty or something like that. This region is what we call the segment. Seg. Minute. So, right. So the segment is the area, see, the area, the whole space, between a chord and an arc. So notice that this is a little segment, and if we're supposed to share the rest of it, it would be a larger segment. So the small segment is what you call the minor segment. And the large part... Is what we would call the major segment. So far, so good. Cool. I want you to watch me now. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to come and I'm going to put in a little piece of put in a next radius right here. So and remember the radius start from the center of the circle and touch one single degree degree point on the circumference. Right. And then I'm going to do this. So you see, notice I'm shading the area, the whole space. Good. So that whole space that's shaped like a slice of pizza, this is what we will call a sector. So this is a sector. So I could describe it in terms of all the other parts that we would have labeled so far. Notice that this black piece is a radius. And then this other black piece I'm putting in is a radius again. I would just learn that this part is called the arc. So the sector is an area that is bounded 
by two ready eyes. So them there, two ready eyes. And an arc. So this would have been another arc. And this would have been a radius. And this would have been a radius as well. So the radius and the radius and the arc together like this forms the space inside of that forms that sector and it kind of shaped like a pizza that's how i remember it a slice of pizza great so like how this area this red piece is the smaller sector then we call it the minor sector and the rest of it is a larger sector so we'll call it the major sector one last thing we want to share with you about parts of a circle. This is a point on the circumference. And look what me I'm going to do now. I'm going to go so. See that? This line that passes through a single point on the circumference, that line is what we call a tangent. So a tangent is a line that passes through one point on the circumference of a circle. And that single point that it passes through, this point right here so, is what we call the point of tangency. Point of tangency. Pretty much, that's it. Those are the parts of the circle, the basic parts of the circle that we're going to be looking at.